Hey, what's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by you, if you are a Patreon, because it is Mortician Demo 1, 1990, live drummer, Matt Sicker, Will Romer on bass and vocals, and John from Incantation as a session guitarist. Oh yeah, Primitive Recordings reissue was definitely expensive for a three song reissue, $17.80 total. Worth it though, because I have been after this beast for a minute. I know it got reissued as like a 10 inch with like the rehearsal on the B side. I have to be honest with you. I hate the 10 inch format. I just don't like it. I'm sorry. I, I just don't. So hopefully maybe one day this bad boy and it might be. I think I heard Hell's Hell that Hell's talking about doing a seven inch, which makes sense. It'd be sick with like an etching on the B side, but this it's so weird hearing Mortician like this. I mean, nowadays they always play with a live drummer for the most part, but like the drums are triggered to sound like the drum machine where here it's very organic and just like more I I, I, I can't really it's just very barbaric and just awesome and that, that Hellhammer influence like the band Hellhammer very, very prevalent in 1990 Mortician. Like, I love it. I, I really do. Like, it's so good. And this reissue is great. It's just, the, again, I, I... I'm just glad I have it. I mean, I'm sorry to the Patreon that it was... A little expensive, but essential, like legit essential death metal. And if you're a mortician fan, it's worth it. And oddly, though, I, I think it might be like just on purpose. There's no B side on mine. I mean, it's supposed to be there but it's blank I, I don't know if that's done on purpose but like I have some old like OG death metal demos this is not one of this is this uh has both sides though the embalmer uh rotting remains demo which I don't know why this is not like reissued this demo is incredible but like I, I i love these three songs the intro slash mortician brutally mutilated necro cannibal and outro nice addition to my mortician cassette collection all i need is mortal massacre and i almost have all the uh, cassette reissues. And they're all worth it. Like, if you ever hit up Primitive or see Mortician Live and they have the tapes out, like, yeah. They rule. They're, some of these are kind of... I think, like, yeah, My Zombie Apocalypse is tape 40... Of 75. I think.
think my chainsaw dismemberment. I don't know if this one's limited or not. I'm just glad I have these. Like, yeah. Uh, and just so you know, like, you're not. If you're buying this off of, like, a website, this is how you know you're not getting ripped off. Reissue. Right there. But like, I guess, uh, I think my chain, uh, hacked up for barbecue. No, that's not numbered either. I guess it was just, uh, zombie apocalypse. But, uh, I love my hacked up for barbecue tape as a nice O card. It's just, hell yeah. House by the cemetery, essential. Chainsaw dismemberment, essential. Zombie apocalypse, essential. And again, I'm not really sure why they only made 75 of these. I mean, I get it, you know, keeping it limited and shit. But, like, this is such a nice reissue also. Like, it's just done really well. Sounds sick. But, uh, you know, it's cool. I'm just glad again to have a copy without having to support Relapse. Although, I, I'm sure they get some money. But, demo number one, 1990. Like, it's, to me, it's so good. It's always been, like, one of those demos where, you know, like Mings, for example. This demo is so good, so gnarly, and the fact that Dark Descent reissued it, uh, it might have been, what year was it? It might have been 2020? I, I honestly don't remember. But, uh, Timo Cotola, like, uh, I think he redrew the logo. I, I forget off the top of my head. This is another, I need to get this on, the vinyl version of this. Or I think maybe Timo did that. I'm not really, I, I forget. But this rehearsal, I, I'm keeping this out. Oh, I forgot. Like, not rehearsal, demo, I'm sorry. But the one thing about the tape, especially since it's a reissue, I kind of do wish it was like, I, I think if the comp, like the compilation version with the rehearsal, I think it's called Brutally Mutilated and has like different cover art, but I like the authenticity here. So it's sick. And I'll show you the tape real quick. But it's one of those tapes. Like, again, it it cost, it was kind of expensive. Like, eight, $18 for three songs. But totally worth it. Because this is a killer, like, reissue. Cosmetically, like. I love it. Like, there's no Primitive Records logo, but, uh... Don't be a scumbag with this. Seriously. Don't don't try and say, like... You have an, Like, don't, like, photocopy this cover and get some jewel cases. Get some, you know, blank pro tapes and make... Don't do that. For real. Like, I know, I, I, I already can hear the wheels turning in some folks' minds. Like, I could boot that. No, just primitive, re did the reissue. Go support Roger. Again, I know it's a little expensive, but it's so worth it in the end. 
just because it's important, in my opinion. Like, hearing Mortician, you know, grow into their sound, it, it's just cool. I, I, I personally, I, I love that stuff. Like, when I, I love rehearsals. I love promos. It's just, to me, it's like just stuff I think all bands should do. Like, if you're going on tour, make a tour promo. Like, not only are these extremely sought after, but, like, once they're gone, they're usually gone. And you can just, just get a regular pro tape and, you know, doesn't need to be anything spectacular. Like, sometimes, like, when I see newer bands and they're, like, going all out, it's like, you can do it yourself. Like, earn your stripes a little bit sometimes. Like, you know, it's awesome. Like, my first band ever, we got signed off of our demo. And it was, like, just a, like a kind of small label out of Philadelphia, World Eater Records. And um, I remember they wanted to reissue it. And I was like, uh, we have a full length done. And, uh, like, we're almost, like, done the second full length, which sounds completely different than the demo or any of this other stuff. And then, like, when they... Well, we, we played like a showcase and I just remember uh, the boss after he's like, all right, I, I, I see what you guys are doing because we were doing a more like this was like 2006 and we were mixing like none so vile cryptopsy with early suffocation mixed with like Isis the band and other outside influences and we just wanted to make like there's like a total Nine Inch Nails like worship song on there uh, Sleep It Off it's like all it's just all like electronics and like spoken word like but like you can barely but like it ends with like these Isis type vocals I don't know. It's uh, something I'm legit like proud of is Skeleton Proof Tanks Creep. Especially us reissuing it on cassette. And I actually have the rights. Thanks to Pat. Pat got me the rights. So like I, I could technically do a vinyl release of SPT Greek, which would be badass, honestly, <laughs> like, because the 20 year anniversary of the band is coming up in November of 2014. I'm willing to play a live show if I can at least get two other original members. I would love to have everybody, but but we can't. There, there's two people that I no can't happen. Like, but I mean, it could. But the one I don't want anything to do with whatsoever. Like, you stole from my family. Nah, you're a scumbag. I'm sorry, but no, like that would not happen. But uh, like I'm definitely you know if like I got hit up saying like yo I know twenty years are coming up like I would do it in a heartbeat like I mean I I want to do a cursed womb live but it's really hard to just like find you know like bass player drummer another guitar player. Because uh, we would need two guitars like, to make it the way it needs to be. 
Um, but that's, I'm getting off topic, see? But Mortician, demo number one, just an absolute, I don't want to say essential, brutal death metal release, but it's pretty, uh, yeah, I would say uh, when it comes to 90s death metal demos of this time period, it's one of the heaviest, it's super sick. There's a lot of really good demos in 1990, 91, but again, hearing Mortician without the drum machine, with John on session guitar from Incantation, and a live drummer with a very different, like, sounding drum sound than what was to come with the OG, well, no, the OG drum kit from Hell. God flesh. I think Justin Broderick owns the right to at least the in I, I don't know, but to me, God flesh was the one was the first band with like a drum machine. Aside from Mortician that when I heard, I was like Cause like nine inch nails would use like live drums sometimes and then like program drums other times but like i just remember just being like whoa but mortician i mean mixing horror with death metal as a horror movie fan especially in high school yeah i got made fun of big time for like, it was not cool to like mortician like for real Everybody was getting into the more technical death metal stuff, like, and you had labels like Severed Records coming in, and, you know, just, like, a lot more, like, brutal devourment, like, worship started, like, happening and stuff, and even like incantation i used to get made fun of all the time like how dude wearing that incantation shirt like this shit's so boring man now it's like what <laughs> you know like it just shows you like i know people's opinions can change but sometimes it's just like Just being a jerk. <laughs> but hearing, like, again, like, brutally mutilated. It's kind of worth, like, it's kind of worth the money alone. Like, hearing this on cassette, proper, like, I, I really love the fact that they did not change the layout. I, I don't know if the original had this photo, though, but, like, the fact that the photo's, like, faded, it's cut a little, like, unevenly, like, part of the, the end, like, I, I like that this is very DIY, like, and, again, kind of, you know, a lot of old demos that, that I have do not have a B-side. And my B-side's blank. I don't know if that was done on purpose, but, like, it is. And I honestly don't re I mean, I care, but I don't really care. The only reason I care is, again, it, it was kind of... I would like to just, you know, be done with it. And I want to listen to it again. Just flip it over and enjoy it. But I get it. If it was just, like, to keep it real... I 100% I, I understand, but just um, primitive recordings, and I know a lot of distros have this floating around, Tot it's, it's totally worth it, and if you look at the original, like, version of this, it's very similar, like, they did a great job here, and, you know, 
uh, I'm just very impressed with just like everything of like the sound even the sound quality is just like to me like just exactly what it needs to be it's gnarly and yeah you know again part of me is kind of glad it's it doesn't have the rehearsal as well and i know that sounds stupid because why wouldn't you want more songs but just like i said for the sake of just keeping it real Hell yeah, like that's that's pretty sick. So hails to Roger and whoever else, you know, made sure that this, you know, death metal artifact was reissued properly. So hails to the Patreon, especially for you know being fans of Mortician and asking, like, hey, uh, do you have the Mortician demo? And no, I did not. And I've been looking for it, and when I saw it got reissued, boom. Thank you. But, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Again, this is not, not the same Mortician you are going to hear on something like Chainsaw Dismemberment. It is, and it isn't. Will's vocals are not, like, totally un... Like, they're not, like, super buried and, you know, so deep sometimes that you can't even really hear it in the mix. But you know it's there. He's just like... But, like, it's so heavy that, like, it sometimes it kind of blends in. His vocals are, like, really loud and just awesome like he sounds really gnarly and barbaric and the music like you could see where mortician was going and i'm just grateful to have a copy of this bad boy mortician demo number one 1990 primitive recordings thank you again to the patreon thank you for watching and yeah have a good one Peace.